Hey guys, so today another what I eat in a day video for you with uh, my toddler and Peter as well. So it's going to be cheap and it's going to be easy and I will put in the description all the details of the video. And for breakfast, we're going to start with yummy pancakes. Then a juice for as a morning snack. For lunch, uh, some spring rolls. And we're going to have a smoothie uh, during the afternoon. And for dinner, it's kind of some like bruschetta that I created. So here you go. I used two cups of oats that I blended into flowers and then one cup of soy milk, one medium banana, a bit of um, vanilla paste, about one teaspoon, one tablespoon of apple cider vinegar, and then some um, baking soda, about a teaspoon of it. And I added two tablespoons of stevia, but you can use any sweetener of your choice. And a pinch of salt. And I just blended the whole thing together. And you end up with this. For the little one, she cannot wait. She cannot wait. Huh? <laughs> so happy. So this is it. So I topped it with. Um, banana, strawberry, chocolate sauce and maple syrup. If you wanted to, but this is just if you really want to be naughty. I thought about it, I have to say, but then I was like, well, no, that's for breakfast. That's maybe a bit much. But if it's for dessert, that would be so good. It's to add uh, one scoop of like ice cream on top and maybe like some nuts also like you know little pieces of nuts mm. morning snack we are having a juice with two carrots a cucumber some celery kale and also some beetroot which is rich in iron and will give you a boost of energy and a little piece of ginger You can definitely add some apples as well, which will make it a bit sweeter. Awesome. For lunch, I'm making some spring rolls, so I cut some slices of tofu and I'm just cooking them with um, sandwich press but you can use a pan and just fry them up a little then I'm cutting some carrots spring onions and cabbage and I'm making a sauce with peanut butter so two tablespoons I also added some uh, garlic and ginger as well then one tablespoon of soy sauce and some hot water to mix it and um, bring it to the right consistency and there you have it then I'm just cooking some um, noodles so in hot water and then I'm just using some of the hot water that I mix with cold water to get a lukewarm water just to um, soften the rice paper roll that I will use
I have emerged. I am alive. You have a new experience today in your life. This looks very different. <laughs> right on time as well, 12 p.m. The accountant is ready for his lunch. Because so, usually I actually make them, but today I thought you could make your own. Ah, oh, I see. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's not going to look very pretty. It's okay. <laughs> You want me to make it? And I found that spring rolls is really a healthy um, way and quite easy um, way to eat lunch. And it makes you actually add uh, more raw veggies in your diet. And it's really tasty as well and filling. So it's a big winner. Cool. Then take that so that can actually break. So and you do that. You try to do that. Start to cruise them. That's the first roll. And then you grab the rest. And you turn and you keep cruising it. Same time as you actually press up, and then you're gonna roll. You're gonna have nothing on mine. And there's lemon, how did you introduce oh, that? I didn't, but you can press a bit of lemon. And... So, how are you doing? Because you start. Like that, you're gonna leave a bit of space here to actually take it to roll. Squeeze as well to have it tight, you know what I mean? Mm. Yeah, and then go, 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 and grab that with your fingers. Yeah, roll. Nope. See, do you break it? Mm. And then squeeze the other side. Well, if it's broken, it's broken. Because you, you, instead of rolling it, you squish it. <laughs> wow. <laughs> so what you can do, you can, you want me to put another um, thing? <coughs> you gonna eat that? Yeah. No, you just put another wrap. Hmm? one slightly better put up a weird shape a little breakage there it's a bit fat yeah but we'll see we'll go down the same hole <laughs> <laughs> his music is saying you to the audience but in a really beautiful way it's like you I love you now let me play you some beautiful music you know so there's this feeling like um, they're gonna do whatever they want and, and assert their own will and not worry about how it's being understood or whatever yet the wonderful thing about that is that it speaks to people We love smoothies, I find it so easy to make and especially if you have kids, it's an easy way to increase their greens by adding some 
spinach or spirulina and you can put some protein and use any type of fruit and it's very refreshing especially when you use frozen fruits So for dinner, I'm cutting some sourdough bread that I'm toasting. Then I'm cutting some um, red onions that I would um, fry in a bit of olive oil. And cutting some red cabbage that I'm adding to it with some mushrooms as well. Then I'm putting some um, garlic and I'm spreading uh, one garlic clove on the bread to give it a bit of taste. And I'm using one um, can of diced tomato and a leftover rice. So what I'm using is just what I have with me and I'm using some stevia to, for the acidity and a bit of uh, tabasco sauce then I'm cutting some kale that I'm adding to it and I'm also using some uh, vegan sausages that I had um, left also a bit of tofu I'm using also some sliced black olives and a bit of paprika and then I'm using that delicious um, nutty vegan cheese so I'm putting back in the pan uh, my bread then my mixture some cheese and some mixture on top and I'm putting the lid and I'm trying to melt the cheese this is Alicia's dinner so it's the same thing without the cheese and the bread and here you go so it's not very pretty but it's very tasty and the good thing about it is that really you can um, make the filling with anything you have 